Dear Misty, when you were in college, how were you able to reach out and make friends? I'm a gay student at ORU, and I'm finding it really difficult to make friends. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. ORU is this huge Christian school, and I'm, I'm freaking out only because when I went to ORU, I was severely closeted, and if anybody went up to me and said, you know, I see the spirit of homosexuality on you, or are you dealing with a gay spirit? And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, why would you think that? Oh my gosh, please pray for me. Even though I've known since I was nine years old that I was gay, and I've been playing with boys on and off for nine years old, since I was nine years old. So yeah, when I made friends at ORU, it was as a closeted Christian. It was in denial of everything of who I am and what I am. Most of the friendships I made in college are not solid in that I don't have close friends from college today. Because when I came out, many of them disowned me and or I disowned many of them because I was afraid they would disown me because I felt I was living a lie and therefore many of my relationships were based on a lie. So my question to you is, are you out? And if so, how are people at ORU reacting to you? Because when I was at ORU, I had what is called gaydar, and I knew the other gay kids, but I wouldn't talk to them because the whole birds of a feather flock together t type of gig. A couple of them I would see out at the gay bars, but and I might talk to them there, but I wouldn't talk to them at school because I don't want people to see us together and, you know, oh, they both have this spirit of homosexuality. Because I don't want them to get me clocked. Or I don't want to get them clocked if people are... I think I was pretty obvious at school. But I was in denial. Hardcore. But in reality, I really wanted Oral or Richard, Oral or, Richard or Benny Hinn or someone to deliver me and get rid of these spirits. So for a long time I was in denial of my gayness until I was very suicidal and tried to <laughs> end my life. And I, I felt God hated me and everyone hated me and it was it was a really long battle. But if you're an out or you student, I'm shocked. I mean granted, it's been 10 years since I went to school. I left in 98. So I don't know. I mean, it was just so strict when I went there. Like, if you were caught smoking or anything, I, I, I'm i just shocked. Unless you're a closeted person like me, and then I don't know, have any advice for you. Because I, if I went back to ORU now, or if I went back knowing what I know now, I would live a very different life. And, to be honest with you, I would be very focused on getting my degree and not making a lot of friends. Because I was very involved. I was in three choirs. I was in drama ministry. I was in music ministries. I was in a missions team. I was a social chair on my floor. Um, I was, you know, more concentrated in doing social activities than actually studying and taking classes and focusing on my degree. Not only that, but I switched to my major every, me every semester. Ugh, big hot mess. And I would not have been so focused on making new friends and a lot of friends because I would end up getting kicked out of Oreo. So, the less people I knew, the less people that I would be embarrassed by. I don't know. I, it's really, I don't know how to answer your question. Basically, if you're an out homosexual, and if I went to Oreo now as an out homosexual, I would just keep my head in the books and focus on getting a degree and graduating, and being friends with the people on your floor and in your classes, and not really making a lot of friends. Although, I will tell you, a lot of the athletes are gay. And when I went to school, a lot of the athletes were gay, and a lot of the people in the drama program, and the music program, surprise. <laughs> you know, because they would either be going on athletic scholarship or whatever, and or trying to sing for Jesus. Oh, I, I don't even know if I'm helping you at all because this question just threw me for a loop. Um, I'm going to put my Facebook down here. Please Facebook me and I want to be friends with you because we have a lot to talk about. Alright, loving you is easy. Bye.